to be or to do? That is the question. Today I want to talk to you about a man by the name of John Boyd, someone who you probably have not heard of, but who you definitely should have. John Boyd was a colonel in the U.S. Air Force. He died in about 1997, and he's really one of the most fascinating individuals, I think, who has ever lived. His biographer described him as possibly the most important mind in military theory since Sun Tzu. He was instrumental in designing the F-16, the F-15, the F-18, and it was an associate of his who designed the A-10 Thunderbolt Warthog. He wrote aircraft dogfighting handbooks. He was also instrumental in devising the United States military strategy in the 1991 Persian Gulf War. Despite these incredible contributions, he never got beyond the rank of colonel in the Air Force. Today I want to talk to you about why. I want to talk to you about a theory that he had about a fork in the road that all of us face in our careers and in our lives. That fork is whether we will choose to do something with our lives or to be someone. He describes the situation in this way. In order to get career advancements and in order to get success, you're going to have to conform to certain things. You might have to conform to your superior's expectations. You might have to conform to the culture of the institution you're in. And the tricky thing is that sometimes that's the right thing to do and sometimes that's the wrong thing to do. But in order to be successful, you're going to have to do it, whether it's the right thing or the wrong thing to do. The other option that you can take is to try to do something, to not compromise your values no matter what, and to try to do what you think is the right thing to do as best as you can see it, and to try to make a real contribution regardless of whether or not you get any recognition for it. Well, John Boyd went down the road of to do something, to try to make a real contribution to American uh, military theory and to, um, and to the Air Force. Because of that, he never got beyond the rank of colonel. Um, some of his superiors described him as one of the most brilliant officers and soldiers they had ever met. Um, and some said, you know, he's, he's just brash, um, uncivilized, insubordinate rebel. John Boyd was a man who was insanely committed to his principles and insanely committed to his mission of making the Air Force and the soldiers in it better. Because of that, he never got beyond the rank of colonel. You've probably never heard his name before and you may never hear it again. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, I would strongly encourage you to go look up John Boyd, read some obituaries, read some biographical details. His ideas were fascinating, and he was an incredible, colorful, dramatic individual. If you liked the video, hit the thumbs up and give us a subscribe.